as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine, Hunty, you can go ahead and get that because this reading right now is not for you. Not for you. Not for you. Not for you. All right. Now let's go ahead, you all, and see what the messages are this spirit has here for you on today. A time for healing, okay? A time for healing. That is what you're doing right now, okay? Taking the time that is necessary to heal yourself, whatever that means, whatever feels good to you. I feel like a lot of you are spending time by the water. If you're not, you should. You're being called or pulled to the water. It's very therapeutic. It's very healing, especially if it has that sea salt in it, okay? So, yeah, go and get in the water. We have emotions are running high or be near the water, okay? Emotions are running high, and that could be why, okay? They want you to be near the water, specifically during a moon, okay? Full moon or super moon, okay? <sighs> Nighttime comes to mind in general, okay? Just go outside near some water at night, okay? Let us see. We have conclusions are within reach. You're going to get the answers that you need. You're going to see your desired outcome. Okay. Some things are going to work out way better than you expected them to. It's also what I'm getting. Okay. We have a personal issue reaches resolution. So like I said, you finally resolve something. You get the answers. You get the clarity. You get whatever it is that you needed in order to make something happen or whatever. Okay? So that's good. Underlying energy here is a new romantic cycle begins. So spirit is basically saying that you or your person are in this energy of allowing everything to fall into place. Okay? Seeing everything for what it is. Allowing yourself to ride the wave. Allowing yourself to feel the emotions that you're feeling. Not pushing against them. Not fighting against them. Just allowing them. Okay, yeah, the Queen of Cups pre-shuffle, okay, just allowing them. At some point, you could have pushed them away or could have been blocking this person out. Could have been resisting them, okay, resisting the changes that are happening, fighting against your emotions, okay? But again, you're being called, you're being pulled, okay? Healer of the ages. So let us see. A time for healing. Like I said, a new romantic cycle begins. It's going to be a very healing love, okay? We have, yep, the garden and the gate. You, I'm like, ah, I'm not sure. Some of you may be holding back or restricting yourself from fully enjoying because you would like to focus on healing, okay? You have appreciation. This person shows you appreciation, though, okay? Some of you are scared to fry, uh, to, how about I say, to fry. <laughs> Some of you are afraid to fly or scared to fly. All right, we have fourth shock where your emotions are running high, though, okay? Your heart is beating really fast, okay? Your anxiety Okay, and it's because you sent something coming. You sent something coming, but it's something that's going to make you really, really happy. Okay, you deserve it. All right, let us see. We have financial constraints. Yeah, you're blocking somebody out. Okay, you're blocking someone out. And I feel like this is what you are being guided to do, though. Following your heart. You're yeah, walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore. For some of you, it could be a job. Okay. All right, but if it's a relationship, whatever it is, you gave all of your heart to it. You love it with all of your heart. There's a new romantic cycle beginning for you here. So let us see. Dun, dun, dun. All right, Queen of Cups, pre-shuffle, Page of Wands. Let me split the deck, okay? Being really excited to start something new. A lot of enthusiasm. This spark returns, okay? You feel really good. Let us see what we have here. For our feminines, a king of swords, okay? So it could be Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius person, but it doesn't have to be. This is someone that is very smooth, someone that is very intellectual, that likes to talk, okay? Or good with their words. Let us see. We have the king of wands, very passionate, attractive, ambitious person okay some of you may have to choose between two people all right this person could be the same energy you know these two energies could be the same person ace of swords is clarity truth honesty making some sort of decision here brand new beginning in truth for a cup someone understands why you reject them or why you don't want them it's because you want something else or 
There's something like that going on here, okay? Let us see what's happening. We got the lovers and we got the five of pentacles. Like I said, you could have been blocking something out for a while. You're no longer going to block it out, okay? We have the page of pentacles, brand new beginning. So this could be like you and your twin starting anew, okay? You and your twin deciding, hey, let's give this another shot or what have you, okay? I think that's what we're going to do. That's what it feels like to me. And what is this? The two of cups, yep, Okay. And that energy is saying, this feels really good to me. This feels really good to me, too. Okay, so two of you deciding. You want to try it out. You want to see what a relationship is like. We had the Queen of Cups. Now we have a King of Cups. So a match. Let me see what's going on with this uh, thing, you guys. Hold on. Is that better or worse? <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, let's see. So yeah, in the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, your heart desires, everything you've ever wanted in a person, or this is how they feel. Okay, message coming out kind of choppy, but we'll bridge it together in a second. We have the Page of Swords, all right? Page of Swords is watching something, seeing something, Three of Wands. In the very near future, you're going to see something for exactly what it is, okay? Page of Wands, someone is excited to come towards you, like I said, or... Or you get someone excited. Queen of Pentacles, okay? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. If not, you're just very stable, prosperous, abundant, secure within yourself, okay? Seven of Swords. This person, hmm, you don't know if you can trust them or not. Whoever this person is that you're blocking out has been exposed to you as a liar, a cheater, or something like that. Like the Two of Pentacles, okay? So, yeah, I feel like, you know, you've been weighing the pros and cons of dealing with someone king of pentacles okay but again we have a match king of pentacles queen of pentacles king of cups queen of cups okay so having to make a decision between what feels like a king of pentacles king of cups and a king of swords king of wands okay yeah you got the emperor but your divine masculine is here in this reading so yeah we have an offer that's coming in but with this offer being made one would have to eight of cups walk away from something we keep seeing that, okay? So whether that be you or that person, okay? Let us see. We have the Page of Swords and the Three of Wands. Temperance, Divine Intervention, and Protection. Strength card, okay? Someone feels like the love is so strong and so powerful that, you know, it cannot be stopped. This is destiny. This is fate. It's meant to be. It's going to happen, that type of thing. The magician. Someone is definitely pulling on your energy, wanting to manifest you back into their physical reality or manifest union. Okay? But with the devil here, okay, yeah, woof. So it's like this. Someone can choose between this devil energy or the lovers. You know, choosing the ten of pentacles, ten of cups, or the five of pentacles. All right? Someone has been seen for who they really are. We have the everything is fine. Everything's really not fine. Two of wands, a decision needs to be made. It just keeps coming up like that. But I feel like Going near the water is going to assist you. The moon and the water. The moon is your intuition. The water is your emotions. So because of how you're feeling in that situation, I, you know, which offer to accept. That's what I'm getting here. Which offer to accept. They're going to tell you. You know, spirit is going to tell you by that water. Okay. So you know how they say wade in the water? Well, some of you might be wading. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we got split energy and we have union, see? So again, whether that's you or whether that's them, put yourself whichever side you go. But there is an offer being made and for a first start for union, all right? From you or for this person. Like I said, from you or from the person. Lord, have mercy. Okay, sacred space, mystery. Yeah, see, so you're like, I don't really know what to do, Blue. Well... Let us see what spirit says. You and this person are mirroring. They're about to start coming. Hard body, hard body. This person maybe at one point in time used to hide behind their ego. This card was in reverse. They're not hiding in their, you know, behind their ego anymore. <clears throat> we have denial, okay? Yeah, some of you could have been trying to, like I said, fight those feelings, repress those feelings. That's not working. Hmm. Spirit said, because you're not supposed to repress them. Yeah, it's your time to receive. This is like your true love here. That's coming in. Okay. 
material world. A lot of you are caught up on like work. And like I said, something could be happening with that as well. Healing. Okay, some of you could be getting a new job or a second source of income or third. We have balance, yin and yang, darkness and light. Stay centered in your higher self. Yeah, your divine masculine is here. Okay. Your soulmate, your twin flame soulmate, okay? And some of you are, like I said, hesitating with that guard in the gate. Not sure if you should get close to this person or let them in or what have you. But they want a brand new beginning. This person has grown spiritually, okay? And they want your forgiveness, okay? All right, let us see. Okay, we have imagination, dreaming, meditation, possibilities, and fantasies. So I feel like the possibilities are limitless when it comes to you and this person. Again, they think about you all the time. All right, we have foresight, travel, freedom, moving, and results. Person plans on coming towards you. That's that three of wands energy. We have evil eye, protection. There are people who envy you. Know that you are divinely protected. All right, you have everything that it is that you need and want. And even a little extra, because look, we have romance, okay? Romance is here. It says shared values, sexual desire, twin flame, and soulmate, okay? So that's the person, hunty. We have breakthrough, all right? Communication, vision, truth, and fresh ideas, okay? And trust me, there won't be anyone who can love you better, all right? We have reflection. Yeah, this is definitely a reflection. This is like the second time we're seeing something about reflection, okay? Yeah, mirroring says reflection. And then we have the reflection card. So go figure, right? Like this is clearly your reflection, okay? That's how we gonna look at that. It says contemplation, soul searching, solitude, enlightenment, okay? So I pray that this helps you. I know that it will. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and heaven.